friends and family continued to visit the scene of the accident this evening, many leaving condolences of the boy's death, while others left mementos of their lives. For the Delaware Community School Corporation, the first line of defense lies just beyond the doors of the administration building. They're just cleaning up after another day of brewing here, but the two-week journey from this to this has really just begun. Cars at the auction can go anywhere from $5,000 to a million dollars, like this Duesenberg. What was once a scene of sadness and loss has now become one of comfort and remembrance. Well, I just wanted to come to the scene of the crash again, just to be able to sit here and kind of like reminisce the times, reminisce the kids. The intersection of County Roads 19 and 40 in Auburn has become a destination for many people hoping to pay their respects. Friends and family continued to visit the scene of the accident this evening, many leaving condolences of the boy's death, while others left mementos of their lives. He loved to put ketchup and A1 sauce on everything, smothered it in it. That was the stuff. A small glimpse of joy for Zaylin Harris during a trying time for her and her brother, Dakota. I don't, it's just sad, really, really sad. But Zaylin says they're not alone in this road to healing. DeKalb County's community is awesome when it comes to stuff like this because they come together as one big community. This isn't the Padilla family's first experience with loss. Just six years ago, Derek's mother Polly died at the age of 38. And he missed his mom more than anything. And I feel like that's a relief for most of us because we know that he's with his mom. He gets to see her every day now for eternity. A small comfort for a mourning community. In Auburn, Michael Kuhn. News Channel 15. The car auctions are underway and people are buying. Sold $10,000, $400 sold. Megan Boyd has been a car specialist with Auctions America for six years. She says the people at these auctions are becoming as diverse as the cars being sold. You know, you're like starting to see a lot more younger families, you know, people with young families with kids buying more collector cars and getting out and enjoying them, which is a, a nice change. It's something we're happy to see here in Auburn, something to keep the collector car hobby going. Ken Lingenfelter has been coming to Auburn's auction for close to 30 years. He says this growth isn't just unique to Auburn. The collector car world period has gotten better and uh, prices have been pretty steady and steadily rising over the last few years. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident. I think we're going to do just fine. Cars at the auction can go anywhere from $5,000 to a million dollars, like this Duesenberg. According to veteran car enthusiast Sonny Gandy, an upswing in the economy has played a large role in the increased prices and overall interest. People feel a little bit safer about their retirement and their investments, and what that really turns into is they can come buy a classic car and not feel like they're going to lose their investments on the side or jeopardize their retirement. According to an auction representative, they're expecting close to 85,000 people to attend throughout the weekend. Reporting in Auburn, Michael Kuhn, News Channel 15. And with the holidays upon us, many people are decorating their homes and looking for gifts. Newslink Michael Kuhn is live from the Ball State Alumni Center to tell us how you can take care of both in one trip. Students and faculty at the Glick Center for Glass have been gearing up all week for the annual glass ornament sale going on right now at the Alumni Center. Ornaments like this one are just waiting to be taken home after a very hot journey. It's the most addictive art form I've ever been a part of. It's kind of an intimate process. It's fast. It's very like from beginning to end, like just keep going. If you mess up, restart. That's what Ball State students at the Glick Center have to say about glass blowing. Clayton Burns is in his third year in the program. He says his favorite part is the interaction he gets with other artists. Creativity is everywhere. I think that's the best part of, that I can say about it. It's just being creative at all times and people that are creative as well. It's refreshing. Evan Burnett is one of those people. A graduate student in the program, he says he can't imagine life without glass. You just never want to stop. I've been doing it for 17 years, and I can't see myself doing much of anything else. Fellow graduate student Dylan Martinez says just being able to work with the glass at Ball State is a big deal. To be able to use and work with the material on the level we do is just a really rare opportunity. 
especially in Indiana, in the Midwest, and anywhere. After only six years of being operational, the Ball State Glass Blowing Program is the newest and only one offered in Indiana. That's why Byrne says events like the ornament sale are so important. And we're just trying to get the word out that it is here and it is an immaculate studio and it's perfect to learn in from the beginning. The sale is now in its final hours, but there will be another opportunity for you to get your hands on a work of art like this one on Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Glick Center. Live in Muncie, Michael Kuhn, Newslink Indiana. The proceeds from this sale will help send students to the GLASS program to take ed educational trips to New York and even Poland.